On October 28, 2023, allegations against Mike Biko, the founder of International House of Prayer, were brought to the limelight. On 18th December 2023 was T.D. Jakes. On the 8th of January this year was T.B. Joshua. Just yesterday, 26 January 2024, was Prophet Faye Daniels, and he was sentenced to life imprisonment. Why the back-to-back -back allegations and exposures? For years now, prophecies have come about last-day shakings in the global church. Are they finally here? Is it over or is this just the beginning? Is God judging the church or is Satan attacking us? How should Christians respond to allegations of misconduct or impropriety against a church leader? An accusation comes. What ought to follow next is, is there anyone else this has happened to in the event that someone brings an allegation and it turns out to be false? Whatever would have been done to the person they accused will be done to them. Don't be quick to speak. Be quick to hear. Slow to speak. Be patient and wait and be careful about what you do because what you're doing will come back at you. Can you imagine people's response to the BBC? All the talk about how you're attacking Christians when the BBC attacked its own staff members and it was after one's death. What do you mean when you say they are targeting you? Dear Church of God, there are ways to reduce allegations. The least you can do is keeping and operating a policy that allows people to speak freely when there is an issue. Subscribe now to watch the three-part interview on Itaudo at YouTube under the Red Chair Truth playlist.